What is going on, guys? Welcome, 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 Crypto FUD, and let's jump right into this. All right, so for right now, we're going to be covering Dogecoin. I feel like we haven't covered Dogecoin on a, on a separate video in a while. We obviously cover Dogecoin almost daily on the daily streams that we have every day, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We go live every day. Really just checking out the whole market and what's going on, especially top movers. So come on in, ask questions, and join the squad. So let's jump right into this. So Dogecoin has been on a massive rally recently, right? This right here, we're zoomed out basically for the last few years on Dogecoin, right? Obviously, we have this all-time high that we did see back in 2021. We did hit our head right at the 76. I thought it was like around 77, but we'll take 76. But for right now, Doge is looking like she wants to creep back up and start getting towards those higher numbers. So let's jump right in and see what's going on here. So for Doge, we are sitting at around 21, 21 cents, a little over 21 and a half cents right now. You can see we finally broke the 786 Fib retracement, which was at the 20 cent mark. You can see we did come run up. We ran a little bit above, got rejected, tried to run up again, but went a little bit before at around that 19.4, got rejected bounced right here off this 50 day moving average right here and you can see since we bounced off that moving average this was back on the 19th so i would say most likely when we had the fed meeting i believe last week somewhere around that time when the market was kind of cooling off we had a nice little drop beautiful spot honestly to buy in dollar cost average in at around that 12 look like a drop down to around 12 cents but since then this thing has been on a epic epic run and we're going to talk why but let's do some ta first so from that drop up 76 percent for dogecoin so looking absolutely beautiful i do have a spot in between the two fib retracements so you have the 786 that it just broke we have the 618 that obviously it's, it's eventually going to be coming up and testing but in between the 618 i do have two key spots that i want you to look out for for some resistance right now it's going to be that 22.5 and if we break that if and when we have that 29 basically the 29 and a half cent mark is another pivotal spot that previously back before was big spots that we were hitting our head on previously so <clears throat> most likely we will be doing the same thing as we creep up on dogecoin but as of that dogecoin is looking absolutely fantastic and we want to i want to go over a few things on some big predictions that people are calling for dogecoin first off Doge is sitting very tightly at that uh, number eight spot, number eight per market cap right here. You can see looking beautiful. Market cap's around $31 billion, looking absolutely crazy. I think all-time market cap, let's see here, was around $76 billion. So you can see we're creeping up there. We are literally creeping up on our market cap. So, I mean... Listen, guys, Dogecoin, look at this chart for the week, up 43%. Doge is looking very bullish. Why is she so bullish right now? I mean, even when the market yesterday was kind of having a cool off for Bitcoin, and we're going to cover Bitcoin real quick, you always want to monitor Bitcoin, right? But even though Bitcoin and the rest of the market was having a cool off, yesterday Doge was pumping. Doge was pumping like crazy. And I did, I did pull up some research, and it looks like, obviously, we have uh, last week, we had the news that Coinbase was going to be adding future uh futures trading for uh dogecoin one of the uh one of the projects that they were going to add dogecoin litecoin and i believe there was one other project but right when you heard that news come out you started seeing dogecoin was just starting to take off now obviously looking right here at this article it says dogecoin's growing adoption boosts investors confidence after soaring 90 percent in the past month the price for dogecoin plummeted when bitcoin dropped to sixty-two thousand range this decline also led to a 9% drop in the crypto market market cap of Dogecoin. However, the recent crypto news of popular crypto exchange Coinbase, like we just said, planning to introduce Dogecoin's future contracts as early as April had a profound impact on the value of Dogecoin. Some view this development as a potential precursor to the spot Dogecoin ETF, which is further enhanced its credibility so wow i didn't even know that they're calling for a possible dogecoin etf i don't see that happening anytime soon but if we could still run with that speculation that dogecoin is going to have an etf you know that's going to be nothing but a plus for dogecoin right and just to finish off with dogecoin dogecoin gaining traction in terms of adoption market analysts maintain an opt 
optimistic outlook regarding its future value. They anticipate the price of Dogecoin could surge to as high as 71 cents in 2024. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say 71 cents. They're riding us off. That's not, you know, I really think that is this the time that we're going to see Dogecoin possibly hit that $1 mark? If you guys are familiar with the channel, I I was buying Dogecoin back in 2020 at 2 to 3 cents. I obviously did sell off when we went on this epic run. You know, I was, trust me, I was buying and buying diehard Dogecoin. Dogecoin was my first investment that I bought in on crypto and back in 2020, early 2021, and just, you know, sticking with it through the thick and the thin. So I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I'm an OG for Dogecoin, right? I was in it before your Dogecoin millionaire and all these people popped up, you know, just accumulating, accumulating. And that's what really started my foundation with crypto you know, financially and mentally, right? Because after that, I was like, wow, after I, I made a lot of money on Doge, I was like, this this is fun, right? So what I'm saying is, is that I think Doge honestly could easily run up to a dollar this time around, especially with all this, this hype momentum building up with Coinbase, possible ETF, you know, and then what if, just think about this, if we get Elon Musk to start tweeting again about Dogecoin, you're going to see a crazy, crazy surge on Dogecoin. And I'm talking about you're going to start seeing that hype, that 2021 hype come back and everybody's going to start FOMOing in on Dogecoin. So we'll have to stay tuned and see how that works. You guys can see as we speak, Dogecoin is creeping up to that spot that I said that was going to be some resistance right here at the 20. We have it set up exactly at the 2260. We're at 2243 right now. So We'll have to see how this works tonight. We are going to cover Dogecoin as a big, uh, a big project tonight in the stream at six o'clock. So make sure you guys are subscribed real quick. I do want to just give a quick uh, update on Bitcoin. Remember yesterday, Bitcoin, we covered this in the stream. Bitcoin yesterday jumped up all the way to 71, 71,700 and then dropped all the way down out of nowhere to about 68, 68, three right here. You can see. Obviously, we have a lot of FUD coming out in, in regards to um, KuCoin, even Coinbase. They didn't um, a lot. Of, I guess the um, the whole case with with Coinbase is going to keep going as as um, anticipated. Coinbase was trying to get it thrown out. Well, the SECs, uh, I guess they got a ruling in their favor saying that, nope, we're going to continue to do this case and, and uh, let Coinbase fight it out in court. So wasn't the best. But you can see I was telling this in the stream yesterday. We're honestly, as the next few days pass by, we're, that's going to be brushed under the rug for right now because that case, we're talking a year or two down the road, right? As, as far as it, it uh, really playing out. So I don't think it's going to affect anything for right now. We had a little bit of movement yesterday negative, negatively from it. But from there on, you can see Bitcoin draw, uh, bounce at that 68.3. And we are currently sitting above 70,000 again. Remember, folks, we have the having coming up. The having, I'm usually saying the having but people are trying to correct me. So the having is coming up in uh, just what three weeks from now. So I think we're going to see some very fast movement in the market. And if Dogecoin can stay on this momentum and Bitcoin's running too, let's say I'm still predicting a seventy-six to eighty thousand dollar Bitcoin pre-having, you better believe Dogecoin is going to catch on and continue to run along with it. So other than that, guys. I'm going to let it go. Make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you're interested in joining the, the uh, member squad, we do have exclusive streams every weekend. Make sure you hit that join. I will see each and every one of you guys tonight at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for the stream. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.